Hello and welcome to the arcade. Hey, it's finally Halloween, so you know what that means. It's finally time to play through our favorite spooky video games. And what's better than a good, uh, Mario Kart? No, but seriously, there are some really fun and good spooky Mario Kart tracks to help you get into the Halloween spirit. And pretty much every game in the Mario Kart series has at least one good one. The whole Mario franchise overall has always embraced a little bit of spookiness all the way back to the NES era. So today, I want to talk about the spookiest tracks from the Mario Kart series. I'll be ranking them not just on their overall layout and playability, but of course also the level of spookiness, and try to combine all the elements into an overall ranking. And I really did my best to include every game from the series, but if I'm bending my own rules a little bit, hey, it's my video, I can do what I want. He can do what he wants. And I'll throw in some honorable mentions too, so hopefully your favorite track doesn't get left out. So here we go, here are the top 10 best spooky Mario Kart tracks. Number 10, Piranha Plant Cove. Starting off with Piranha Plant Cove, which released in Mario Kart Tour and in the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Course Booster Pass. Jeez, that's still hard to say. And this is a good one. I don't personally love the fact that it's one of the typical tour tracks that changes the layout with each lap, but I do love the nighttime and underwater aesthetic, and I think all the hazards of the track fit really nicely with the general theme of the track. The big piranha plants, the creepy temples and bonfires, and the darkness all add to the spooky atmosphere that this track gives off, making it a great one to play on Halloween. Number 9, Grumble Volcano. Grumble Volcano from Mario Kart Wii was always a track I struggled with when I was younger. One of the hardest tracks from the series, its design is reminiscent of a Bowser castle, uh, without the castle part. There's the giant volcano in the middle, tons of lava around the sides of the track and also flying towards you, dead trees, dark caves to navigate through, and the ever-shifting landscape that gets progressively more destroyed with each lap. By the final lap, you'll be racing on some of the tightest raceways in any track in this game. All of the elements of this track are scary enough, but the difficulty is another thing that makes this one a real nightmare. Perfect for Halloween. Number 8, Boo Lake. Up next is Boo Lake from Mario Kart Super Circuit, and this has got to be one of the best looking tracks from that game. I feel like I've underestimated the design of this one, although I've definitely enjoyed playing the remake of it from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This looks so great for a GBA track, and it has a great balance of challenge and atmosphere for a solid spooky track. It's got the classic creepy haunted mansion in the background, a huge chasm all around the track, creepy dead trees, and even some booze holding candles to light your path along the raceway. One thing I really like about these retro spooky tracks is how they're suspended in the air over a huge abyss. That always adds a lot of tension to the races. I also like how the bricks guarding the edges of the wall can be knocked out and fallen through. It adds some depth to the gameplay, forcing you to really avoid the walls as a safety net, or maybe trying to damage them enough for other racers to fall through. The music of this track is also really solid for one of the more creepy tracks in the series. What a great and underrated track. Number 7, Bowser's Castle. Next up is Bowser's Castle from Mario Kart 7. All the other Bowser Castle tracks are solid for Halloween, but this one sticks out to me as one of the spookier ones. It feels more claustrophobic with some of the really tight hallways, and feels menacing with some of the strange rotating contraptions. It also has an underwater section which is really interesting for a Bowser Castle track, and the indoor sections of the track even evoke a bit of Luigi's Mansion with the creepy green glowing windows and cobwebs hanging from the ceiling. I also love the amount of branching paths and choices for staying on the ground or going with the glider. This is such a solid track that deserves to be played again this Halloween. Number 6, Wario's Goldmine. Wario's Goldmine is another one of the tougher tracks from Mario Kart Wii, and also got a remake in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, where it feels a little more fair, or at least easier to control. 
An underground mine shaft is always a welcome addition to a spooky or Halloween game, and this one is no exception. The darkness in the caves add a lot to the atmosphere, and the tunnel where the bats fly at you is not only great for getting into the Halloween spirit, but also reminiscent of some of the older spooky tracks in the Mario Kart series. But my absolute favorite thing about this track is the placement of the shortcuts. It's a perfect balance of risk versus reward and tends to separate the good players from the great. Plus, kind of like with Grumble Volcano, the scariness of this track is definitely enhanced by the difficulty. This is a tough one. Number 5. Airship Fortress Airship Fortress from Mario Kart DS is probably my personal favorite track on this list, and it would be higher on this particular list if it were just a little bit spookier. It definitely nails the spooky factor with the music and the old castle though. I really like the downward spiral towards the end of the lap and the section just at the start of the lap where you have to dodge the incoming bullet bills. The Pillars of Fire are also a really cool and add a touch of that Bowser Castle feel to this track. For a DS track, this one has some incredible detail, not just in the immediate track, but also in the backgrounds where you see the dark purple clouds littered with other flying airships. It's quite impressive for a DS title and one of my favorite tracks in the entire series. Number 4, Ghost Valley 2. Finally, we get our first look at the Super Nintendo and Super Mario Kart with Ghost Valley 2. There are three Ghost Valley tracks in Super Mario Kart, but to me, Ghost Valley 2 stands out the most. I think the first one might be more iconic, especially with the older crowd, but I think the design of Ghost Valley 2 edges out the first one. Like I said with Boo Lake, I like how these retro spooky tracks have the race taking place over a giant abyss, where a single wrong turn could send you down to the depths. Man, what would we do without Lakitu to rescue us? Anyways, the things I like a lot about this track are definitely the eerie music, the dark and brooding atmosphere, and the background being full of boos, which have a nice amount of movement and animation to them. I also really like the ending section of the track where you have to navigate skillfully if you want to get the extra boost towards the finish line. A lot of people find Super Mario Kart to be one of the tougher games in the series, mostly due to the controls, and this track definitely shows in that regard. Overall though, it's not only one of the best spooky tracks in the game, it's one of the most iconic. Number 3. Twisted Mansion Back to Mario Kart 8 with Twisted Mansion. In terms of graphics and presentation, this one is absolutely one of the best. Mario Kart 8 was the first game in the series to be in HD, and this track definitely showed off what the Wii U was capable of. And of course, the track still looks great on the Switch as well. And not just in looks, but in design. This track really utilizes all of the things that make Mario Kart 8 so unique. There's the underwater section, glider sections, and the anti-gravity and twisting perspective, and it all comes together to make a really special track that never loses its fun no matter how many times you play it. And in terms of spookiness, it's one of the best. The music is great, the mansion exterior and interior look awesome, and it's littered with booze, fish bones, and ends with these executioner-style hammer guys trying to smash you before you finish the lap. I also love the library on the inside where the first shortcut is. Every good haunted mansion needs a spooky library. And right after the library, there's a short hallway, and then part of the mansion itself comes alive, with eyes and a mouth, leading you right into a wall of water and the underwater section. It's such a cool design that feels absolutely awesome for Halloween, and definitely the best of the more modern tracks to play during this spooky season. Number 2, Luigi's Mansion. This track from Mario Kart DS is one of my OGs. My brother was always better than me at this one, but I still loved it. It feels like something straight out of Super Mario 64, and I love how it starts outside the mansion in the creepy graveyard, and even goes from indoor to outdoor a couple of times during the lap. The moon lurking in the background and the glowing windows that look like eyes on top of the mansion add a ton of atmosphere to this track, 
as well as some of the best music for the spooky tracks. And not just the music, but the sound effects that you'll hear outside, like the owls hooting and stuff like that, just adds so much to this one. I love the dark blue color gradient of the sky and how the cemetery walls make you feel trapped here even when you're on the outside of the mansion. The walking trees at the end of the lap are also a really nice touch to add to the creepy factor of this track. Overall, it's really easy to see why this one is so high on the list. Despite being an older track and a handheld one at that, this one still comes out to be one of my absolute favorite spooky tracks. It's just a classic track from Mario Kart DS. And now before we get to number one, it's time for a few honorable mentions, so hopefully no one gets mad that I didn't include their favorite spooky track in this video. Number one, Ghost Valley 1 from Super Mario Kart. Number two, Luigi's Mansion from Mario Kart Double Dash Battle Mode. Number 3, Twilight House from Mario Kart DS Battle Mode. Number 4, Wild Woods from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And finally, number 1 on the list of the top 10 best spooky Mario Kart tracks, we have Banshee Boardwalk. Ah, <laughs> Banshee Boardwalk. Need I say more? Not only the greatest spooky track from the Mario Kart series, but one of the best tracks from the series, period. Banshee Boardwalk brings the charm, the challenge, and the atmosphere together to create one of the most memorable experiences from the entire Mario franchise. I mentioned earlier that the Mario series has almost always had some Halloween references, and to me this is the greatest example. The music sets the mood perfectly with its mysterious tones and eerie pitches. The all-enveloping blackness around the track sets in a sense of isolation and loneliness, and the boos that fly across the screen let you know that something is always lurking close by, always watching. And aside from the boardwalk itself, with its broken guardrails as a tough hazard, we see a massive flying cheap cheap and an abandoned old building with an ominous welcome sign above the front entrance. Once inside, we're bombarded and swarmed by bats, forcing you to rethink what direction you want to go or what items you might want to use once inside. And aside from the guardrails themselves providing a hazard, every other racer on the track with you is another huge impediment since you don't know if or when someone will come up behind you and bump you right off the side of the boardwalk. This track is creepy, intense, challenging, has a great theme and atmosphere to it, and is one of the most satisfying and well-designed courses of the entire franchise. Banshee Boardwalk is my number one best spooky Mario Kart track, and it's not even close. No matter what games you're playing this Halloween, I just hope you're having fun. And I hope this list help you get into the Halloween spirit. These are some of the most fun tracks to play, and not just during the spooky season, but just from the series in general. Mario Kart and Halloween go together like peanut butter and chocolate, a perfect pairing. And I would love to hear from you. Do you agree with my list? Think I missed anything or left any tracks out? Let me know what your favorite spooky Mario Kart track is. And as always, until next time, thank you so much for watching.